World Cup team of the tournament is out. And today we've picked out Thiago Silva. He's cost me just under 100k. And we're going to see if he's worth getting your team. So Thiago Silva, he's six foot tall, medium high work rates, two star skill moves, and three star weak foot. Obviously, he is a centre back. Can only play centre back, and that's the only position we're going to be playing him in. Now, as you can see, he's quite a nice card. Obviously, his pace is decent enough. Obviously, the acceleration's a bit low for my liking. Obviously, passing's decent enough. Good short pass and long pass. Dribbling's not too bad. 65 agility for a six foot tall centre back. Good, really, really good reactions and really good composure. Obviously, defensively, he's an absolute monster. Look at the high interceptions, defensive awareness. You know, defensive eye, eye on this card is going to be really, really nice in game. Physically as well, he's got really nice jumping. Strength's really good. Aggression's decent enough. Obviously, you're probably going to want to put, obviously, an anchor or a shadow on this on this card. Depends what he's like in game physically, but we'll, we'll see what he's like, obviously, before. Now, has some nice player traits. Leadership, power header, team player. All nice traits that you're probably going to want in your defender. Now, like I said, we'll see what he's like in game. I'm more than likely going to go with a shadow to start off with. But depending on how aggressive and how good he is in game, we might change that to the anchor. Obviously, the stamina does sort of let him down. 72 stamina late on in game. When people bring on subs, it is going to let him down, obviously, because obviously fresh legs. And he's obviously not going to have a lot of stamina left. That's the only thing that I think might let him down in game. He is lengthy as well. Has the average body type as well. So, again, he can... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's always going to be lengthy. So there's not really too much we can change unless obviously we put something on the agility. But I'm pretty sure he's more or less default length anyway. So we're going to play a few games of rivals and let's see how we get on. Go oh, Thiago Silva. Great bit of defending there. Again, Thiago Silva easily read the ball. But really nice defensive eye, eye on this card. Again, Thiago Silva coming across. Got a little bit lucky there, but still. He'll play, again, Stone's unlucky not to get on the end of that. There we go, Thiago Silva. Look how strong he is defensively. Look at that, Thiago Silva matching Dan James for pace. There you go, Thiago Silva just doing enough to put Fatty off there. Yeah, and there's Thiago Silva coming in with that interception. Yeah, and he's still, like I said, he's got a big pace upgrade as well, what he's definitely needed. They go up against Ribery. Didn't really get much luck with him. And again, he comes in and makes a nice tackle there. Thiago Silva getting back in, making a tackle on Haaland. There you go, 1v1 defending versus Usman Dembele. <clears throat> now my final vote is on Thiago Silva. Now I really like this card in game. Obviously Thiago Silva's always been good on FIFA. So again, if you're one of them guys that's played FIFA for other years, You'll know how good Thiago Silva is on FIFA overall anyway. This is more or less like his, one of his flashback cards from other FIFAs. He's got good pace, obviously, in game. I was really surprised he obviously managed to catch up Ansu Fati, Ribery, guys that are, like, controlled and explosive, different accelerates, which I didn't really expect. Obviously, his acceleration isn't great. Obviously, he's got really nice sprint speed, obviously, with the catalyst on. I did change it up in game. As you can see, last few games I played, you see how good his defensive eye is, and with an anchor or, obviously, a shadow chemistry style, it's entirely up to you. I'd probably keep with the um, the shadow, just because you want that uh, maximum pace boost. You're really going to need the pace boost. That's what was making him keep up with people like Fatty, people like Ribery. So for me, definitely keep the shadow chemistry style on him. Dribbling wise, because his reactions are so good, you know, he's got really good composure. You don't really notice the agility. Obviously, he's six foot tall. He's not like six foot three, six foot four. So he's not clunky in game whatsoever. So when you are defending and when you are jockeying with this card, it's really, really nice in game. Obviously, easy to use. Defensively, like I said, as you know anyway, with the interceptions, with that defense of awareness being so high you knew that his defensive eye is going to be really really good in game obviously he's so hard to beat obviously like i said he moves very smoothly in game he's very responsive 
someone you're probably going to want in your team. Like I said, good, good pace as well. Physically, obviously, he's good in the air because of the jumping. He's got good strength. Aggression's good. It depends what type of defender you are. Obviously, if you're more of a conservative defender, where you just like to back off and obviously make tackles in at the last moment. Obviously, if you are more of an aggressive defender, you want to keep, you know, diving in for challenges and trying to win the ball high at the pitch. He's probably not the defender for you, but like I said, if you're more of a conservative defender where you want to just drop off on the edge of your box and obviously defend like that way, you know, this card is unreal. Even, like I said, when you're defending and they're doing the balls over the top, he's automatically tracking the man obviously because of the work rates and the defensive eye being so good so you know really really nice card for under 100k as well some really strong links obviously brazilian plays in the premier league so trying to get this guy on max chemistry is going to be easy enough now is tiago silva worth buying for your team 100 yes solid links really good in games with good pace like i said you need to keep the shadow chemistry style of him obviously i've got the catalyst on him but you need the shadow chemistry style on him that is the best chemistry style for him Obviously, like I said, if you're a more conservative defender, you are going to love this guy because of how good his defensive eye is in game. Like I said, if you're more of a, a, an aggressive defender, you know, you want to win the ball high up the pitch. This guy, he, he's got really good interceptions, but he doesn't have that. He's not like a Van Dyke defender where he's really strong and aggressive and he's going to just take you and the man. That's not that his type of game. You know, he's similar to probably someone like Bobby Moore. Pl people like that, probably like Lissandra Martinez as well, I'd say he's similar to that where, you know, he's, he's very good with defensive AI, conservative defending, obviously, like I said, just dropping back onto the edge of the box and always being in the right position. Quick rating before we finish. I'm going to give this guy, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Like I said, for under 100k, really, really good value centre-back. Cheap, easy to link in. So for that reason, 9 out of 10. Obviously, he's not a top, top tier defender, but he's not too far off of it. Maybe a bit more pace, higher a physical, you know, he would definitely be up there. But for under 100k, you probably won't find someone better than Thiago Silva. And if you are looking to get players like Thiago Silva in your team, click on that Discord link below. We've got traders in there making hundreds of thousands of coins every single week. Click on that link below and we'll see you in the next video.